This Continue conference the will now be recorded. Session. So here uh, in yesterday session and day before session, we discussed about org data, how to set up the organization data in the system here, right? So now we need to go to the mass data. So before going to go to the mass data, so once again, so we'll observe in uh, organization data, like what are the tables here? So what are the important tables? Uh, okay, so we need to observe here. Okay, so already I've shown you what are the tables uh, for the organization data tables. So if you go to the organization data, organization data related tables here, okay? So what we observed organization data, the highest organization element is client here, okay? The client is the highest organization element. The client will be defined by the basis people. Okay, this client details will be stored in T000 table here. All the client details will be stored in T000 table here. In T000 table, so your client details will be stored here, okay? And next, uh, company code details here, T001, okay? And T001 table, company codes details will be stored in T001. And plan details will be stored in T001. W here. W means works here in German text here. T double zero one W. So this is about plans here. Okay. The tables are most important as a consultant. So you need to more focus on the tables. Okay. T double zero one W for the plans and T double zero one L for the store locations here. Plant in that particular plant. How many number of store locations in that particular plant? This. Is Plant store location tables uh, will be stored in the T001L table here. Next, uh, T024E. T024E is a purchase organizations here. So we have different uh, kind of uh, purchase organizations, right? So we have different kind of purchase organizations. So T024E tables for the purchase organizations. And purchase group yesterday I have not shown you purchase group today I will show you purchase group also where we will define the purchase group here. Okay. T024 T024 is a purchase group here. Yesterday I have not shown you purchase group where we will define the uh, purchase groups here. Okay. So today we will see where we will create uh, this uh, purchase groups here. Okay. So these are the tables also in it observe. And one more thing here most important. So any table, if you want to see in the table in SAP, so the transition code SE16, in SE16 transition code, okay, in SE11 also you can see program and SLS table here, SE16, SE16N, so SE16, you know, as of now, just make a habit, go to SE16 and see the table, exactly. So once you enter SE16, the system immediately asks the table here. So if you enter this particular table, now we can observe here, okay. Now let us observe. Now let me start the server. First, initially we'll say the tables. To connect here. You click on yes. Rajesh sir, again you are using HP8. Is it okay? No problem. Acha, we'll use uh, the Right, even though Nina Nagendra Nagendra doubt will clear a Oh, sir, this is the same. Ah, this is the Rundu same. You want an Egyptian server? Is it the other one? Is it the other server? You got it. Ah, it is the server, sir. In the Egyptian, is it the other part? Is it the Japan or the Euros? Is it the Japan? Is it the First thing you table super and is there a nation table super center of meetup. Okay. Okay. Now, yes, the tables are not a table session. Okay. No. Rajas, sir. Yeah. We're different. Yeah. Concha and a general version to version. Kuni changes in tenth. Major changes. Girl. Light over four to five percent changes in tenth. Antakan and came under business. It is updated, sir. It is updated. Updated on the Matran is the Mutun total. Dangi is in the difference. Almost everything same. Okay. 
లైట్ చేంజెస్ ఉంటాయి మనకి స్క్రీన్ కలర్ చేంజ్ కావచ్చు కొంచెం అట్లా అంతే తప్ప ఇంకా పెద్దగా చేంజెస్ ఏమి ఉండవు ఓకే ఓకే సార్ కొంచెం ఫ్లెక్సిబిలిటీ సో నా విల్ గో టు వాట్ ఈస్ ద ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ కోడ్ టు సీ ద టేబుల్ ఏసి సిక్స్టీన్ ఓకే సో గో టు ఏసి సిక్స్టీన్ అండ్ ఫస్ట్ వీ నీడ్ టు సీ ద సో వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ గో టు ఏసి సిక్స్టీన్ ద సిస్టమ్ విల్ ఆస్ ద టేబుల్ నేమ్ ఓకే సిస్టమ్ విల్ ఆస్ ద టేబుల్ నేమ్ సో విచ్ టేబుల్ యూ వాంట్ టు సీ టీ త్రిబుల్ జీరో T triple zero for what? Client list here. If you enter the T triple zero, the system will show you all the client list here. Okay. So if you execute here, then immediately the system will show these many clients is there here. Okay. So triple zero, double zero one. Okay. So we are using 800 client here. So these many clients is there, but we are using 800 client here. 800 client. Okay. So all this client list will show in T triple zero table here. Okay. In real time, master clients will be there. so they will copy from the master client basis people will copy from the master client so t triple zero is for only clients here okay next t double zero one t double zero one for what company codes Com- company code yes company codes t double zero one for the company codes here okay so what is the company code yesterday we created so we created 9004 right so 9004 company code we created here 9004 means uh, avina steel here okay and 9005 also for let me go 9004 if execute uh, immediately it will show this 9004 company code we created so what is the name we are given avina steels okay so here what are the address you mentioned so this are all what are the address you mentioned this address will come and uh, this company code under which company also it will show you okay so in the same t001 you can see the company also this company code is assigned to which company it will show you okay so this you need to understand and the 9005 t001 table suppose if uh, if i enter 9005 the system will show you this uh, 9005 means avina motors here okay the same company here right now if i have not entered uh, anything here okay i want to see without if i executed all the company codes list will come here okay if all the company code list will come there are 4 to 41 company codes in there even though i don't want to execute i want to see is yes, simply a number of entries is there right so here if you click on number of entries system will show so this is the way so your consultant means you need to go for the table levels so you mostly you need to access the table levels here okay so you are not the end user so go screen by screen Okay. so you need to work you need to work as a consultant so always you need to focus so what are the tables okay so murli uh, please make it mute na we are getting disturbance from your side sorry okay. yeah sorry sir yeah yeah so here uh, we have 441 company codes is there so number of entries simply click on number of entries you can see here otherwise uh, yesterday we observed we can go spro img and uh, enterprise structure financial accounting there you need to execute and you can see number of entries here so simply go to ac16 so suppose go to ac16 enter the table and if you click on continue simply click on number of entries immediately you can observe as a consultant so there are 441 company codes so not only the company codes any entry you can number of entries means how many number of uh, uh, entries is there uh, how many number of values you can check here so this is the way system will help here okay like we have a lot of other uh, uh stuff is there so day by day we'll understand okay now what is the plan details so where the plan details will store here okay so the plan details will be stored in t001w okay t001w table is for the plant details here so t001w is for plant so works means uh, bookers means company code in german uh, uh, language b u k r s bookers means company code in their uh, language and uh, plant means works works means uh, plants here okay w w r k s works means plant here okay so t 001w for the plant here okay now without executing if you see number of entries there are 559 uh, plants is there here yesterday we created some 9000 uh, uh, what to call 9006 avina steel hyderabad plant and our steel spoon plant here 9006 here so here immediately if executed you can see this is the plant we created yesterday 9006 right so 9006 is the plant okay this uh, this plant is also our valuation area we discussed what is the valuation area 
valuation is always a plant level not at company level yet okay we can maintain the same price or different price yet. this is a you can see other plant also 9007 also i mean a steels uh, pune plant here 9007 here so t001w is for the plant list here okay now i want to see in my 9006 plant how many number of store locations you created here this is t001l t001l is for the store location so if you enter here t001l and if now enter your plant 9006 plant if you enter here so this avina steel hyderabad plant so if you execute here it will show we created some three to four store locations right so those store locations here immediately it will show you so we have only four store locations we created in this raw material store locations let me finish yesterday we created right the first plant only we created for second plant i have not created same vice versa you can maintain uh, i told you right so in this if you go to 9007 so there are 140 150 store locations already is copied from thousand plant here okay so this is the way you need to observe t001l here in your particular plant how many number of store locations are existed it will show you okay now simply if you click on 9006 if you enter it will show only four plants suppose if i enter a thousand plant how many number of store locations there are some 150 some store locations is there right so click on execute immediately 160 and store locations is there so this is the way it will work here t001l okay now t024e go to ac16 this is 16 if i want to see the purchase organizations that is the t024e t024e you can see the purchase organizations so what is the purchase organization you created 9123 purchase organization 9123 avina purchase organization we created it if executed here immediately show so whatever the purchase organization and this purchase organization for which company could be assigned so this is about a purchase organization t024e right so and uh, one more important purchase group also i wanted to show you okay so now let us i'll open the notepad once again now don't worry about uh, this uh, mmr levels here okay these are the different different tables here but in real time so only in real system so we need to work on only our mmr levels here okay we need to define our only mm organization levels here okay so what is our mm organization levels highest organization element is the purchase organization so what is the definition of the purchase organization the purchase organization is responsible to procure the material or service uh, to a plant here okay so whenever the material is required this uh, purchase organization will come forward uh, come forward and it will procure the materials for this uh, particular plant here okay so this we need to understand here right next <coughs> Coming to uh, purchase uh, plants, okay. What is plant? Plant is a manufacturing unit so where the manufacturing activities, sales activities, production activities, okay, these are the different different activities will be performed at uh, plant level. So this is also our argument. So in real time organization data, we need to define the plant and we need to copy the plant. That also we observed. And what is store location? The store location is like Godan. So we are where we are going to keep the materials. So as per the business requirement, we need to maintain the uh, store locations in the plant okay so this already we observed but here purchase group is also our element here so most of the uh, people are working in the real time so those people also they don't know purchase group is our element here okay the purchase group is also our element so here the purchase group is also called as a floating entity already we discussed why we are calling purchase group is a floating entity because this purchase group we never assigned to any plant or any company code is implied so you can work for any company code any completely client level you can work here okay now i want to show you where we'll create a purchase groups here okay so what is the navigation part here okay this is missing no so what is the table t024 okay today we'll see how to define the purchase group in the system here go to spro in sap reference img okay now go to enterprise structure here So enterprise structure we define right so where we'll define the purchase group here okay so spro is separate from cmg materials management here okay. in enterprise structure we'll define all the arguments but only to purchase groups you need to go to the materials management here in materials management okay in materials management we need to go to the purchasing in purchasing create purchase groups here create purchasing groups here spro img materials management in metals management purchasing in purchasing you need to create purchase groups here okay so once again i will show you spro img 
so you need to enter spro sa preference img okay now come to here materials management give me a second please don't mind right so i got one important call okay so where we are so we need to define the purchase groups right so here uh, come to system so spr or img uh, img we need to go to the metals management here in metals management purchasing in purchasing create purchase groups here create purchase groups here we are we need to define the purchase groups here okay so now if you go to the real time in real time you will not find any purchase groups here okay so completely the screen will be blank here in real time the completely screen will be blank so your client people will give you the purchase group the purchase group is a three digit element you can use alphanumeric or purely numbers or uh, alphabets anything you can use so what is the buyer group and what is the telephone number here okay now let me go to new entries i'll define one purchase group here so my purchase group is uh, some z78 example okay. it is so now go to z78 some mr rajesh here okay can I enter the telephone number example okay so now enter. So any fax number you can enter here enter and click on save here now click on continue so this is the way you need to define the new purchase group here okay so once you will define the purchase group so anywhere you can use uh, utilize uh, this purchase group here means uh, whenever you are creating for any master data okay so for any transaction okay so when when so this purchase group whenever the material is required for the plant so it will go to the purchasing department in the purchasing department purchase groups the buyer groups are available so they will involve uh, the procurement activities here okay now if you see we created this right so now if you go to table level here okay so what is the table here sc16 go to sc16 in sc16 so we have 2024 t024 e for the purchase organization only t024 for the purchase groups here the purchase group means uh, t024 here okay now come to z78 here so this is the purchase group here okay immediately the system will show you the table so what is the purchase group so what is the name of the purchase group and what is the telephone number here so this you need to understand so we have different uh, kind of tables here okay so t triple zero for client t double zero for the company code t double zero one w for the plants and t double zero one l for the plant and store location t zero two four e for the purchase organizations and t zero two four for the purchase groups here okay so now everybody is confident so then will go for the master data here okay so organization data you can able to define or please let me know if anybody is not able to convert so i can i can show you once again okay now as nagendra is, is confusing whether what is the difference ecc and all so let me show you ecc which i also will open okay nagendra So this is EC system example. Okay. Now enter some user ID. Hmm. 
Rajesh sir. Yeah. Nagendra. If possible, uh, if possible, please provide uh, this latest version, sir. Okay, okay. Latest version also will make it clear. Don't worry. Okay. Ah, uh, sir. But uh, we have concluded that latest version having some issues, right? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, that's what I actually I am requesting to refresh the data. Uh, Second, sir. If you refresh the data. Uh, yeah, after refreshing, it won't go with things, sir. I already talked to them. It will ah. not go even after refreshing because it is refreshed recently. Still, the pro still okay. the problem is going on. Okay. Then, uh, well, what is the solution? We need to use ECC six only. ECC six. Uh, but a year. I have already uh, given. Sorry. Okay, okay, no problem. See, now you are both. Okay, simultaneously open these two. Don't worry, both are same here. Now you can go. Now this is the ECC six year. Okay, so now if you go to your uh, enterprise structure SPRO, SAP reference IMG. Better to okay. teach in this one, sir, not to confuse them. Okay, okay. So here uh, enterprise structure here. Okay, same. Only some icons will be changed, but everything will be same here. Okay, you can see come to enterprise structure, a definition and assignment part here. Okay, in definition part uh, you will find here financial accounting. In financial accounting, you can observe company and the company codes. Suppose if you open the pop-up also, you will get the same like copy, delete, check company code, company code data. Okay, so everything is same. Suppose if you go to define the company, everything completely. So if you know this. Also, you can work on that particular version, or if you know that version, also you can work in this version. Also, there is no difference here. If you go to last general, same. The first we need to check the evaluation level. Okay. So, uh, sir, we have to tell them we should not. Sir, please tell them that don't disturb the standard settings. That is the main thing. They have to copy yeah, yeah. and. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. One more thing here uh, uh, for all you. Even though Arshini, Mayur, Nagendra, Naresh, Murli. So better you, if you want to change anything in the system, okay. So better you can make your uh, uh, new one. So suppose uh, you are creating enterprise structure and however it is not started. Suppose you can prepare the arc data. Even though if you are preparing the arc data also, better you don't disturb any standard one here. Okay, if you are disturbing standard one, so without uh, any knowledge, so it will be impacting the uh, other uh, users. Or it will be impact for us only here. Okay, so in this case, what is the best solution? So you can copy as you can copy as, and in that uh, your new entry, you can do whatever you want. You can do practical here. Okay, but you don't disturb in thousand plant or uh, any thousand company code. Okay, so in in this server here. Okay, this is the this is the reason here actually why we are not using this uh, uh, the same, but uh, somebody is disturbed here. Okay, so we are getting some issue. That's what we are not able to move forward here. Okay. Maybe when it is going to resolve this issue, but at the same, both are same. This, uh, this, and this will be same here. Okay, uh, don't worry. Here, okay, but you don't uh, disturb any standard settings here. Now, if you go, if you observe the tables, everything will be same here. Also, if you go to uh, SS16, the transition code, everything will be same. Only some changes here. The the changes also we cannot observe here, manually level here. Suppose if you go to T triple zero here, also you will open client list here, table name, everything will be same here. Okay, Nagendra, you have a lot of confusion. Now it is clear for you. Only this icons will be changed here. I think. Okay. 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 Hmm. Difference. Uh, there is no much difference with the, both the versions. Only versions here. Okay. So it is nothing changes is there. Right. Now, let us. Uh, Go for uh, the second one. So now, I think all people got the access. So I assume that uh, you today just you prepare organization data. Okay. So you try to define the or, your own organization data in the system. So you are very new to the SAP. So then what you will do? Freely you can take a paper and uh, try to uh, make your company and you know, the company at least. Uh, Okay, however, you are logging to the client, right? So an ECC. Okay. So first you view prepare one company in uh, better you write a nomenclature in your paper. So when you are tracking first time, you may be confused with the nomenclature and all. Okay. 
so whatever the available nomenclature first you go and check the position and in, in particular uh, really in the paper suppose if you return a company and at least two company codes you create like i have also created two company codes right like avina steels and avina motors like that you also create at least two company codes so any name you can take any name some xyz uh, name so you can take uh, different industries also no problem here okay whatever the company code you can create here okay so under that particular company codes in one company code at least you create two plants in another company code also you create at least one plant here okay and after these plants at least in that plant you maintain your own store locations here and same other plant also you can maintain your own store locations so this is the your practice need to work here okay next you try to create uh, some purchase organizations here okay and also try to create at least some two three purchase groups here and you go and test where you will check uh, uh, your enterprise structure who will tell mayur arshini nagendra naresh murli where you will check the enterprise structure whether we properly maintain the enterprise structure or not sc16 sc16 to see the table so i am asking where you will check your, your enterprise ah very good ec0 yeah. EC01 we have a transition right so in EC01 transition code you can check your enterprise structure whether you are properly maintaining company code point of view you are properly you assigned your uh, company code under the plants your okay, plants under store locations everything you can check here okay so this is the one best uh, way you can because you are initially you are initial so you need to check your uh, whether you properly you maintain your org data or not so you need to check in this uh, EC01 transition code here okay and after creating this enterprise structure also better you go and uh, observe the tables here like uh, go to sc16 and uh, i have uh, checked uh, today tables the same way you also you need to check uh, tables like go to sc16 and and observe the like a t001 table whether you created company code is available in that or not and uh, suppose you go to t001l whether your plant and store locations in that particular plant whatever the store locations you maintain that uh, store locations are maintained or not and go t001w whether your plant is there or not you check the tables also okay so today you need to make this assignment here so are able to do this uh, uh, mayur nagendra naresh murli hello mayur are you convinced Hello. Yes, who is Mayur? Ah, tell me, Mayur. You are able to do the yes, inspection? You are content. Please yes, let sir. me know. Is there any uh, any person access is pending? So yes, my sir. access is not pending, sir. Actually, I am having my personal. I don't have my personal laptop. It will come tomorrow. So right okay. now, the <laughs> office laptop it is not. There is a restriction. Okay. There is a restriction okay. out there. So from tomorrow, okay. I'll start. Uh, Episode. Okay, good. Yeah. So, what about Mayur? Yes, sir. So, you got your access? Uh, no, sir. Uh, sir, some issues, sir. Okay. So, no problem. Uh, you take the access and uh, try to practice it because uh, day to day yes, you need to practice it. So, this org data, if I'll go to some two, three classes again, it will be done. So try to practice. At least you go through the videos. Immediately we are posting the videos, right? So yes. uh, immediately just you go to access the videos here. And what about uh, Nagendra? You are able to practice. Uh, you are able to do the org data. Sir, actually that software is installed, sir. But a little confusion uh, between these two. I already told. Here uh, today I, I have shown you, right? No confusion here. Clearly, SPRO means SPRO. Okay. Same IMG, you can see IMG means IMG, enterprise structure. Same thing. Here. Only definition assignment part. Okay, now you today you try it here. Okay, same as it is same. By seeing the video, you can do it here. Yeah. Okay. Sure, yeah. sir. Yeah. And uh, what about uh, Naresh? Sir, uh, I haven't an access, sir. By tomorrow, I will access it. Okay, okay, no problem. Here, uh, see, and uh, once again, for all the people, okay, uh, this organization data is only we have some big topic. Like, uh, first of all, you are very new to the SAP system. So, some people will get the access, some people, okay, you are saying you will get tomorrow. But don't worry, okay, 
so this is only why we have a, like a, a big topic but uh, tomorrow notes the topics will be very small here okay like master data and all the topics we have a lot of topics we need to discuss but so this is the org data only like most in the spro but remaining topics not in only transaction wise you can observe here okay but uh, okay make some two three days time also but do at least uh, one week before only you need to practice your org data so some tomorrow you are getting the access but try to do hands on uh, in the uh, sap screens here to better the org data so this is one thing and uh, you try to check suppose no person who doesn't have any access just to two three times you review the videos okay and uh, okay you have some one day po is also there some google i don't know today i will search here in that uh, instantly you can practice a uh, sap screens also but maybe that is working on wrong back it is it was there no this time it is working also i don't know yet okay and uh, now next uh, the topic so once if everybody will content so we'll go to the master data here so no master data as we discussed in the master data is also module to module here so completely the basic sap mm is going to divide into uh, three types here okay arc data uh, and uh, master data and transaction data right so this uh, organization data okay so somewhat you will understand but you need to practice next uh, the master data. organization data also module to module we differed here okay the same way the master data is also module to module we have different uh, master data is there for mm so what are the master data here okay so in real time so this master data is, uh, will play a vital role here okay the mass organization data two three times you can practice anybody can able to present the organization data in the system is not a big deal but uh, handling handling the master data because lot of number of records will be there but uh, in initial classes uh, we'll discuss uh, each and every master data how to create master data how to change the master data how to display the master data how to see the display changes of the master data and all will observe here but uh, in going forward okay so we need to understand how to upload the master data so how we are going to upload the master data we need to observe in the system here okay so how to upload the master data right so we have some ls and w and bdc techniques will be there so initially for each and every master data so uh, we will see uh, create a change display same like tables so we need to observe here okay now what are the master data we are going to handle here okay the first one is a uh, material master here the first one is a uh, material master the second one is a uh, vendor master here second one is vendor master third one is a uh, purchase info record here And the fourth one is a source list here. Fourth one is source list. And fifth one is condition records here. And the sixth one is a some batch master here. Seventh one is a service master here. So these are the different master data we will observe here. Okay. So we have material master will also known as MMR record, vendor master VMR, purchase info record we will call as a PIR, source list condition record, batch master, service master. These seven masters uh, we need to as MM consultant. For SD consultant they have come customer master, customer information record. Okay, they have different different masters. For the FICO they have some GL masters. So this is the way the module to module. So same like arc data, the master data is also will be different. And coming to all the master data, the material master. So tomorrow we are going to discuss about the material master, which is the highest integration data for every module persons, whether you are a PP module or whether you are going for QM module or whether you are going for a, a HD modules, everybody need to understand about the material master because the material master is the highest integration data. So all the user department need to understand the material master, how to create change display. And this is a uh, unfortunately this is our major master data. So this is the main uh, uh, like uh, uh, as the MM consultant. So you should have priority in the project here. So because of material master, completely the main in material master we need to maintain the all the user departments uh, data like production planning department that also you need to maintain your material master. Quality parameters also you need to maintain the material master. Sales uh, department information also you need to maintain the material master. Okay. 
so this uh, we'll discuss uh, from tomorrow class metal muscle and we'll start tomorrow okay today it is not sufficient time so already 7 40 okay so tomorrow we'll go through the master data okay so tomorrow is saturday we have the class no uh let me check with uh, Srikant sir mostly the our classes will be monday to friday only okay so even though if it is however we have group right don't worry so morning uh, I'll, I'll, I'll message to you okay don't worry okay sir yeah okay uh, thank you for joining the session uh, all of you mayur okay, harshini nagendra yeah. bye bye all of you yeah thank you raj yeah bye, bye.